I can't. <clears throat> I can't, I can't not save Drax Scouts. I can't. Please forgive me, Reka. Please forgive me. Oh, no. Ugh. I'm gonna have some sleepless nights over this. Reload. We've gotta save those Krogan from exaltation. Hey. Who are you? Pathfinder Ryder. We're here to rescue the prisoners. Who are you? Burtek, a scout for Nekmor Drak. I got loose when the power went out, but I can't do this alone. My people are being held at the end of the corridor, with a lot of Ked in the way. Then we push ahead and don't stop for anything. Let's go. Right. Let's go. Get ready. Ked, up yeah. ahead. I'm about to be dead, Ked. I hear you, Pathfinder. We have the map, but we're trying to rescue some prisoners. Those cat guns won't stay offline forever. I know, I know. You tell us if anything changes. You'll be the first to know. Gallo out. Oh, come on. Damn it, we're gonna fight one of these guys in here, aren't we? Oh no. That's gonna be fun. Careful there! They catch us, they exalt us! That's not how I'm going out! Okay. Can you run? Pathfinder, the cataclyst are restoring the ship's power. Tempest, we're going topside. Track for extraction. Understood. Reka? Reka, are you still there? I'm sorry.
going, I'm going. Perfect. A team is on its way. They'll escort the Ark to the Nexus. I'm sure they'll be happy to see you, Captain Hager. It's a day I wasn't certain would ever come. Now that it has, what will you do? Technically, I'm next in line to be our Pathfinder, though I never started the training. Reiko will be difficult to replace. Yeah. You can do it. Speaking from my own experience, Captain, just take it one step at a time. You're up to this. I hope to justify your competence. What matters most is that the Salarian people are no longer at the mercy of the Ket. For this, we are eternally grateful. Just make sure my scouts make it safely to Nexus. Of course. Be well, Ryder. I heard all about the mission. Must have been a tough call, leaving Reka behind. But I'm glad you did. My scouts are alive because of it. Yeah, but the Salarians we left behind? Focus on what went right. You kicked the Archon's tail today. You took the Ark right out from under him and got Meridian's location. That's true. So, enjoy this one. I will. I will. Thanks, Drek. Your father would have been proud. I hope so. It's been tough trying to fill his shoes. I hope I'm finally starting to earn it. Though slapping the Archon in the face like this will only make him more dangerous. Or perhaps reckless. Your father liked putting others off balance. He said the worthy would rise above it and learn to face adversity ably. And the unworthy? Would crumble. I'll leave you to your thoughts. With reference, Archon, this fascination with Meridian cannot continue. It's the key to our future, Primus. The human knows nothing of its true power. Even we don't fully understand it. Our orders are to exalt this cluster, not study the remnant. Questions are being asked about your judgment. Questions that come from the highest levels. The answers will be clear soon enough. With Meridian, we can transform every world in this cluster to a wasteland. Either the subjects submit to exaltation, or we will use it to annihilate them. This Pathfinder has opened the door. Now we must be the first to cross the threshold. We must seize Meridian before it does. Like all lesser creatures, it mistakes a battle for the war. It doesn't know its weakness. Or its potential. The Archon saw my memory flashes? He got that from my implant? His device went deep. Our connections were wide open when Sam... Killed you. Right, right. He'll know how much we need Meridian. We have to warn the Nexus. We have to move. So we need to go speak with the ne people on the Nexus. Colony just calmed in. Scouts are expected to arrive soon, and medics are on standby. I won't forget this, Ryder. You chose Krogan first. It's been a long time since anyone's seen us as anything other than cannon fodder. Well, 
You're one of us, so sure. I couldn't let you down. My crew is like family. Only family I've had for a long time is Kesh. Guess anything can change. Yeah. It can. Talk to you later then, Drax. We can talk more later. Sure. Well, I'm glad he's happy. A real victory. Our Ark mm. back at the Nexus. I'd almost given up hope. Well, it's safe now. The cat won't touch the Barchero again. The militia will see to that. Losing Pathfinder Rekha is a blow. Yeah. So many Salarians joined the initiative because of her. Oh, really? But you did your best. Did you need me? No, it's fine. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. I do. Still wondering about the debt you keep getting yourself into, though. I need a break. Do you need a break? Let's go for a break. Okay. <laughs> Care for some tea, Ryder? I'd love a cup. It's a cultivar originating in Sumatra. My own personal stash. Once I run out, hmm. that'll be it for Earth tea. Don't make your own. I keep having these thoughts. I'm never gonna taste this again. I'm never gonna see that again. Yeah, I understand. You're not the only one, Suvi. I have those senseless thoughts all the damn time. And? Do they bother you? It's natural. You'd have to be made of stone not to miss home sometimes. The universe is like a giant tapestry. I love following its threads. But it distracts me from the whole picture. My family was right there. But I was too occupied by the abstract to appreciate them. Well, I think... You're here because of family. From everything you've told me? You're here because of your family. Your love of science, doesn't that come from them? Aren't you with them every time you chase down a new discovery? Ryder, that's beautiful. My father was an explorer, and my mother a researcher. Everything I do here reminds me of them. I haven't lost them either. Thank you, Ryder. Aww. So sweet. That was so sweet. Yeah. I'm happy I want to talk with her. Suvi is a sweet girl. And who else? Let's see. Anyone with some closed doors? No. Actually, yeah. You realize that even if I do find it, it's going to cost you. And you know I'm always true to my word, so just get it done. Uh, what's going I'm on? I'm hearing the cat activities down. I bet the Archon's still nursing his wounds. Uh huh. That means he can be beaten. The cat can be beaten. People are waking up to that. Yep. Didn't sound like you were discussing cat over comms when I walked in, though. Wasn't. <laughs> I have a friend keeping a lookout for a lamp. One a brought lamp. from home, but stolen in the revolt. Really? Oh. Uh -huh. I didn't think you were so sentimental. I'm not the only one. Suvi has her father's antique instruments, Cora her Asari prayer book, and Liam has the junk that Liam collects. <laughs> These things are important. They remind us where we came from. Yeah. Yeah. The past is a part of us. I know what you mean. I never want to forget what I left behind. Even as we look forward to the future. Yes. So what's so special about this lamp? It's awful. It's got a butt naked Asari for the stand and she's holding <laughs> a moon. You're right. One of your prized possessions is a really ugly lamp. The foreman at my first job had this lamp. When he was mean, I'd focus on it so he wouldn't see me upset. Now I keep it so I remember where I started. Most of my life was doing stuff to survive, taking shit from assholes, or being one. I don't have to do that anymore. I can start over. Something honest. Do you really want to start over, after everything you've been through? I don't know. 
The point is, I have the choice of changing if I wanted to. For a while, I didn't care that I'd lost the lamp. Everything was a mess and it just didn't matter. But we've made progress, Ryder. Small things matter again. People are daring to dream. Yeah. I like this side of you, Vedra. It's nice seeing you like this. I know. I like being able to let go and do something for myself for once. Let's hope this is just the start, huh? Mm-hmm. Right. So, Vedra, she's, uh... She's, uh... No stereotype of any kind. She's not, uh... Well, yeah, she's got her soft sides, she's got her tough sides. When talking about her sister, she seems like, yeah, her sister is a drag, but she doesn't mean that. So, Giles got her figure out, figured out, I think. Maybe I should have a word with Lexi. We need to talk about Sam. What? Dr. Taparo does not approve of how we escaped the cat containment field on the Archon's flagship. Uh-oh. By stopping the Pathfinder's heart? No, I do not approve. Actually, it was the only way. We didn't have a choice. If there had been another option, I would have taken it. How can you be so calm about this? Ryder, Sam killed you. I know. Yes, he brought you back, but what if he didn't? Then I cannot learn without the Pathfinder. That would be akin to killing a part of myself. Your lines of code, you can't die. Ah. Uh, but I trust him. Sam would never hurt me. Thank you, Ryder. <sighs> Look, I'm not against Sam. I know. I'm not against you, Sam. But my job's hard enough without an AI stopping your heart. Even to save your life. You don't have to speak out loud in the air for you to communicate with Sam. Just talk to me. Right. <sighs> right. Okay, okay. I'll stop dying. Or uh, I'll try. Alright. I'll find a new party trick. Have Gil teach you three card Monty or something. Mm -hmm. Lexi. I apologize for any distress I have caused you. And I'm sorry for calling you lines of code. You're more than that. Even if you don't have cells to prove it. Got a minute? I could use a favor. Sure. Sure. What do you need? I kept thinking about Sarissa and my not being a pathfinder. Yeah. And the thinking turned into a project on EOS. Can you help me finish it? What kind of project? I'll put the nav points in the helm. Come along and I'll show you. Okay, so... Really? I read the email from Cora. Damn it, game. I just read it. I wouldn't have known to go and speak with her if I hadn't. Ugh. Maybe I should have clicked it. Something. Yeah, probably should have. But, fine. The important thing is that we talked with Cora, isn't it? Hey, right there. I've got news about Kerry. Wait, what? Haki, Kerry's producer. I'm the one making you look stunning for the documentary. Uh -huh. There's a hitch. Kerry's been arrested for conspiracy to incite unrest. What? She's in a cell at the militia headquarters. Any chance you could stop by? A visit from you might shake things up. Okay. Remember, Kerry's down in the militia cells. She'd probably love a visit. Right. Looks like so. There she is. There you are. Looking 
for the meaning of life? At the bottom of a bottle? Well, it's a populist bottle, it. You wouldn't be the first to try. Alcohol rarely provides answers. Then why are you here? What? I can't kick back? Have fun? Well, you don't look like that's why you're here. You don't look like you're having fun at all. Lexi, you haven't touched that bottle. Because you interrupted me. Oh. What's this really about? PB thinks I don't care about the crew. That you're all just experiments to me. Do you... Is that how you think I see you? No. No, I know you care. You wouldn't be moping in this bar if you only saw me as an experiment. I don't mope, but you're right. <sighs> Thank you, Ryder. I should get back. What about your wine? I'll save it for another day. Ugh, oh, I couldn't even ask her. Ah, oh, yeah, I was too quick on that one. Carrie. Oh, hey, Ryder. Hey. Hakeem said they arrested you over the documentary. Guess I tweaked the lion's tail too hard. So... I don't think you did anything wrong. You had to tell the truth, whatever the cost. You did what was right. You know, they've had other people in the cells. Rioters, people crying and scared. Me and my truth did that to them. Oh. Uh. So you're sort of uh, sympathetic to the people arresting you? Is that it? Hmm. Really? Imprisoning a vidmaker for her work seems historic. Too bad no one recorded it. <laughs> they took my camera. But I was scribbling a few notes. Maybe I could use this. Thanks for coming, Ryder. I I'll send word if anything changes. Okay. She doesn't look that bad. I am guessing everything's fine for now. Can't arrest someone for making interviews. That's just... Uh, no. Really? You're joking, right? <laughs> that's that's a really bad joke. Concerned citizen. I don't know about these Angara. Whoa! It's the Pathfinder. Uh -huh. It's me. You're the one who befriended these strange new people, these Angara, and now they're here on the Nexus. Yeah. How do we know we can trust them? I mean, for certain. How do they know they can trust us? I mean, for certain. Remember, we're the strangers. This is their home, and they've welcomed us. They've earned our trust. I guess. Talk to them. Get to know them. See for yourself. Good advice. I will. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I definitely could use a haircut. Hello again. They're waiting for you. Careful. Ryder made a sentimental choice saving those Krogan. She looked at them and thought of you. Ryder's her own person. Just admit you don't like Krogan. <clears throat> the Pathfinder. Ryder, we were just discussing your encounter with the Archon. Yeah, I'm sorry about the Solarian stand, but... It's how it had to be. It's true. I had to leave some Solarians behind, Director Tan. I'm sorry about that. Noted. Though it is good to see Ark Parchero reunited with the Nexus. Yet I have to question what we gained, provoking the Archon like this. He had a map showing the location of Meridian. Now we have it, and a short window to get there. It's the control center for the terraforming network. If we get that working, all our problems are solved. Based on what data? This is all alien science. The vault on Aya suggests that Meridian is the key. 
While I appreciate what you've done for our strike teams, we're not equipped for a war with the Cat. They'll be defending Meridian with everything they've got. <laughs> yeah, well, we're gonna have to fight them no matter what. If we do nothing, I guarantee there's a fight coming. The Archon's already studying how to exalt us. It's not pretty. Still, it's better to focus on the outposts. If the Ket attack, at least our people won't be in one place. Then there's this Sam of yours. I took a chance letting AI get involved. Frankly, I'm uncomfortable now with it's an issue. how involved it's become. I can't support your plan, Ryder. Then I will. And so will I. I agree. Ryder deserves a chance to try. I applaud the gesture, but you answer to me. I hope you understand. What? What's the matter, Tan? Don't want anyone else overshadowing you? It's not called the Pathfinder Initiative. It's not called the, the Tan Initiative that. either, you ass. That is all. Why am I surprised? I don't exactly have a plan B. There may be a way. Pathfinder, apologies. There was an urgent message for you. They said your brother is awake. What? What? Go. We'll talk later. In the tech lab. Scott. You lied about Dad. You told me he was alive. Oh, Scott. Why? Why? Because I couldn't risk your life, Scott. I didn't want you to have to deal with the grief when you couldn't do anything. I didn't know what it might do to you. I couldn't risk hurting your recovery. Well, it's hurting pretty bad right now. I'm sorry. I know. This was never going to be easy, Scott. But I hoped I could be here to make it better. Come here. It's just you and me now, sis. I know. But Mom and Dad believed in us. We can do this. What's this rumor I'm hearing? You're the Pathfinder. Mm -hmm. Dad's parting gift. As soon as I get my gear, well... Careful. No way are you fit for duty, sir. You need a chance to mend. Yeah, says who? Says me. The Pathfinder, remember? The Pathfinder, that's who. Time to rest up. That's an order, Specialist Rider. <sighs> Pulling rank already. Better hope I never tell anyone about that year you only ate pace. <laughs> Was it first grade or second? You can keep talking if you'd like. Just no arm wrestling. Fine. No arm wrestling. Ryder, this is Pathfinder Ricks. We have some ideas about Meridian. Come by the tech lab as soon as possible. Yeah, I will, but... Will do. I, um... This, this was a mistake. No, I, I don't want to speak with anyone else but Scott. Hey. Really? You're feeling out of the loop, I imagine? Ugh. A little. Though I've heard bits and pieces of things from Harry and the med techs. Sounds pretty serious. Yeah, just the fate of the universe. Just the fate of the entire initiative. Every man, woman, child, and everything in between facing certain extinction. The usual. Oh, well, I'm sure the Pathfinder manual covers that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we'll have it wrapped by lunch. There's a race of aliens called the Cat. They're led by a scary nutjob named Archon who wants to turn all of us into them. We both want Meridian, which is the heart of an alien terraforming network we're trying to activate. We do that, maybe we live. Look at my big sister being all proactive. Meanwhile, I'm mastering the art of peeing in a plastic jar. So, um, I'll talk with you later, okay? Well, I'll let you take it easy then. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how slammed I am. <laughs> Got a nap, then doze a bit, then try to catch up on sleep. It'll get better. Not before you find that meridian. I want in. Right. I'll take pictures. It was just awkward talking to another bed. So, well, <laughs> hopefully he'll get up on his feet soon so we can have a normal conversation. 
I should go. I should go. I should go. I should go.